So I'm sure most of you that are watching my video already are interested in the new Samsung OLED panel that is being rolled out on a lot of 15 inch laptops. I decided to make a video on the PWM aspect that no one else seems to be covering except for notebook check but they didn't cover it that well. I have a Razer Blade 15 with the OLED screen myself. Uh, the uh, hardware ID is SDCA029. Here's a picture I took of the uh, subpixel array and the brightness values I got. So here's my little circuit that I'm using to test the PWM behavior. I'm using two photoresistors. Ideally I would be using photodiodes because photodiodes have a quicker response time. These are relatively slow but I didn't have any photodiodes on hand. The reason why I'm using two photoresistors instead of just one, like what Notebook Check used, is because I noticed some peculiar behavior of the PWM that the Samsung panel uses. And I'll go over this uh, later in the video. So here I am sweeping the brightness from 0 to 100. Uh, you can see the duty cycle changes somewhat. Uh, I do apologize again for the lack of response time for my setup. So after you hit 48% brightness, the PWM frequency changes from 240 Hz to 60 Hz. At this brightness level, this is also when the modulation of brightness changes from PWM to a current controlled brightness for the uh, individual LEDs. Uh, you can vaguely make it out by the fact that as I increase the brightness past 48%, the off time doesn't r doesn't change. Here's my test of uh, trying to find the phase change. So you can see I, as I go to the vertical position, there's a slight phase between the uh, lower and upper photoresistors and then as I bring it back down to the horizontal position so that the photoresistors are in line the phases match as well. This is the same test done at 47 percent brightness so you can see that even at 240 hertz the phase change is still the same. I was curious on what the screen was actually doing so I decided to set up another test. This time I took a picture at one eight thousandth of a second. You can see the black bar appear in the middle of the screen. This black bar is actually moving from the top of the display to the bottom of the display and apparently it looks as if uh, the screen is refreshing with that black bar. I did another test uh, at 47% brightness which is when the 240Hz PWM started and you can see there are more black bars but there's the specific black bar with the purple fringe is the one that updates the screen's image. Here's an image of the same at 20% where the black bar with the most purple fringe is the one that's updating the screen. Samsung is probably doing this to mitigate burn-in because the LEDs need a set amount of off time. The longer the off time, I'm guessing the less chances of burn-in there will be. Their solution also allows it so that we as a user don't feel the PWM as heavily as a traditional PWM backlit LCD screen where the backlight would turn off in its entirety for the off pulse and turn back on uh, creating a violent strobing effect for lack of better words. With Samsung solution some of the OLEDs stay on pretty much all the time so there is certain portions of the screen that will be lit unless of course the whole screen is black.